And I, I request the conveners of the four groups to please come on the dais. And before that, if I could request the chair, uh, Dr. Ravi Chopra, and the co-chair, uh, Dr. Paritosh Tyagi, to please come on the dais. May I request Shashank Shekharji, please, uh, Dinesh Mishraji, uh, Rajiv Sinaji, and Pranab, yeah, Pranab, Pranab Chaudhary is already there. Uh, you see, unlike uh, yesterday, we had just one, one subject and we uh, discussed that subject in four different groups. Today, we have four different subjects and four different groups. So my request to the chair and co-chair is that we, we might need to really be strict with the, with the discussion that follows the, uh, the presentations. Let the presentations be crisp. Let, let our questions be crisp and our answers be crisp. Thank you. Sir. I think there's somebody missing here. Rajiv? Okay. Uh, has his group come down? Okay, the group is here. Okay. Uh, so, we are running extremely short of time, I'm told. And this session will have to eat into our lunch period. Uh, that's the only way we'll get through some discussion. Uh, so without further ado, let's call the first group uh, to make a very crisp presentation. Uh, who is leading the first group? Nathan? No. Do you have the uh, list I'm getting the of the four? Kaveri? Yeah. Namaskar. Uh, we were discussing and deliberating on flows. Uh, and uh, flows, surface, and subsurface. We started our discussion that uh, in mountainous terrains, we also have river streams where the river vanishes and there is a subsurface flow. Still, it is a river and then how they are dynamically linked and how flow is an integral part of a river. Then the final thing which we arrived at, uh, the way we describe flow is the flow with its natural variability. That is one word we emphasize, the flow with its natural variability includes natural water in context of river, nutrients, sediments, and biota, and is the dominant, we have a difference of opinion here, oblique defining. The house has to decide which word is suitable. Some people say it has to be a dominant characteristic. Some people said it has to be a defining characteristic. So we put both the words, dominant, oblique defining characteristic of a river system. River system that enables it to, one, sustain ecosystem functions. Second, carry out geomorphological functions. In bracket, we want to elucidate natural material transport, etc. Third, perform groundwater recharge function for support. There was a difference of opinion here. We have put it with slash. Support, meet, 
needs of living being on sustainable basis and then the fifth one maintain social and cultural heritage this is what this is summary of what we discussed for all these hours in our group including experience of people from different parts of the country and their opinion i think it's not displayed uh, we would like your uh, not coming uh -huh. it's here so we uh, we uh, we would like house opinion on two things and obviously if the definition is adopted uh, uh mainly where we had some difference of opinion and any member from our group can obviously add <laughs> agree and disagree shall i read it again chairman yeah, sir I will read it. I said it is easier for them to read. Yes. Yes. Sir. But what what point I want to carry in raising earlier also. Yes. Yes. It is very insightful of that. May I continue? Sir. It is. I think flow is very insightful of that, and we have defended the flow of the Ganga particularly by a public movement during the British days. Mm -hmm. uh, and the British had to agree that uh, the flow of the Ganga was uh, sacred and sacrosanct, and uh, the maximum diversion that was allowed uh, in 1916-1917 agreement, mm -hmm. which has been placed before the Supreme Court also, mm. is uh, was 8% uh, from the Upper Ganga Canal and 7% uh -huh. from the Ganga. Mm -hmm. That's all, and that continued till independence. And after independence, is has been chaos. And today it is 95 percent diversion, which is which is equivalent to destroying the river. It is the destruction of the river. I think we should put that down. That uh, high uh, uh, high rates of reduction of flow to, to very low rates of flow is destruction of the river. It, it, we should make a strong statement. I think. Yeah. Uh, Somebody from my uh, group wants to speak on this, or shall I put uh, suggestions? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I, I, I'll add, sir. This point came in our discussion. Hello. Then we came back to one position hello, that hello, first hello. let us define what is flow of a river hello, as if hello. under a natural condition when uh, hello, I am hello. thinking of a river. What is that flow? And then we go a step forward in next session and hello, uh, hello. think and talk hello. in terms of flow reduction and what should be the environmental hello, flow hello. or optimal flow. Uh, this hello, cropped hello. at many times in our discussion hello. that look, uh, so, uh, we will take care and include it in the next one. Hello, hello. Yes, please. Hello, 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 hello. The importance of groundwater is recognized in your policy here. It's not getting reflected in the final consensus because there are subterranean hello. rivers, okay? There are hello. aquifers that aquifers that contribute to the river flow. So, when we actually look at the hello. With primacy, acknowledge that groundwater also contributes to river flows, not just perform groundwater recharge function. That's the, it. Uh, I, 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 we, are, we, we began our group on the. Yeah, you want to clarify? Yeah. yeah. Uh, could you discuss about the uh, effluent and influence schemes and uh, their importance in terms of flow? Yeah. So, it's there uh, in the discussion we got to discuss it. The essence, uh, I'll add, the essence we wanted to bring in the uh, summary description, uh, but the problem was that in Bhabar Belt, when the river suddenly vanishes, uh, does it cease to be called a river? Then we, we, we went back to definition of a river, but that was beyond purview of the 
uh, uh, session. So we said we will not go to that and keep uh, essence of a river as a flow in the river. But it is agreed. We, we, uh, we discussed on that. And maybe we can uh, improve. I will note that down. And Coming, from, coming from, base, from base flow also. Oh, base flow also, if you use base flow. Yeah, because the general understanding of a river and the flow in a, in a policy regime and amongst a common man is that you know it's a surface flow. So we may want to emphasize, emphasize the fact that it also is contributed by groundwater. Do you want to add an adjective to it? No, it's up to me. I'm just making it. No, no, that's nice. Now it's to open to the uh, plenary. <coughs> I uh, uh, suggest that we just uh, uh, add a word to the natural water, there, including uh, groundwater <coughs> or uh, subterranean uh, flows. I think that can, uh, natural water uh, in bracket? Including uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> subterranean, subterranean flows. Including subterranean flows. You can write as base flow. I think base flow is the more inclusive term. Base flow you can add. <coughs> You can I just add base flow. I think you can define it a little later. Yeah. The sense lady. The sense is that you should add something on base flows or subterranean flows. Huh. Okay, so huh. just keep that as a bracket. Huh. 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 Okay, we will we will do that. I have the unfortunate <coughs> task of herding everybody into a short period of time. So we'll take two more comments and then we will wind up this discussion. I hope you don't mind. Tripta, you are leaving. Bridge uh, Gopal ji, aapka haath mene pehle dekha tha. Please go ahead. Um, my uh, my concern yeah. is about the last sentence. Yes. That is about maintaining uh, social and cultural traditions. Hmm. Um, I keep on objecting to that because both social and cultural traditions have been very inequitable. Hmm because much of the desilting was done by Begar of the lower sections of society. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. maybe qualifying clause should be added. Equitable. That's wonderful. Equitable social and mm -hmm. cultural mm -hmm. traditions. OK, thank you. Dr. Bridgopal. Uh, uh, he, he'll do it quickly, and then I'll add from him. Dr. Sahib, <laughs> Thank Number you. one, the word flow has to be used in plural, all through, because flows will have several dimensions over time, its mm. duration, mm. and other things, so that has to be. Second thing, mm. I also feel the word traditional, we should simply say what it sustains. Is it uh, sustaining or meeting whatever? Mm -hmm. Social, cultural functions. We are not talking about traditions. Mm -hmm. They are just uh, the equitability is not a function of the flow itself. The river doesn't make it uh, equitable, or otherwise, it is we who make the inequity. Uh, we are talking about what the flow does. Flow provides a social, cultural function. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The point is that that function used to be maintained by a lot of desilting being done uh, on uh, by the lower sections of society without any payment being out. So uh, I think something must be added to that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we have run out of time. Okay. So you'll have to excuse us at this stage. Um, so I will thank, uh, thank Shashank on behalf of the first group for making a very short and concise presentation. I'm sure that the discussion has added Thank useful information. Yeah. To you. Thank you. Thank sir. you. Thank